at the courthouse. And Mario, we may have a verdict in this case, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions. What was it that swayed this jury to come back with a not guilty verdict? Did they believe that Barbara Sheehan suffered years of abuse? Remember, there was a domestic violence expert who testified in her defense that she truly acted like a battered woman. And then there's the Sheehan kids testimony where they painted their father as a monster. How much of a role did that play? Well, we tried to find out. In his first press conference after losing the murder case against Barbara Sheehan, the prosecutor spouted off scary statistics about domestic violence. Six million American women are beaten every year by their husbands or boyfriends. 4,000 are killed and children are abused in 70% of the households where domestic violence takes place. Think of where we would be if only a fraction of abused women took the law into their own hands. That's exactly what Sheehan said she had to do the night she said her abusive husband pointed a gun at her and threatened to kill her. With one of his guns, she shot him dead 11 times. The prosecution called it murder. The jury found her not guilty. We tried to contact a couple of jurors to find out how they came to this decision. My name is Erica Pitsy. I'm a reporter with PIX11 News. Uh, whatever you have to say, you try to get it in the court. And it was the same response through the door of another juror. Did you believe that Barbara Sheehan endured years and years of abuse? I have no comment there. With jurors keeping quiet, we still have a couple of those unanswered questions. Meanwhile, as you heard from Mario Diaz, my colleague, Sheehan is not totally a free woman. She was convicted of a single gun possession charge, so she does face up to 15 years in prison. And we're told she's going to turn herself in next Wednesday to start serving her time. That's the latest from Kew Gardens, Queens. Erica Pitsy, PIX11 News. Now let's send it on over to Arthur Sheehan. He's in Lower Manhattan.